quá không? Hi Shannon, Happy New Year. Hello Alan, Happy New Year. Happy New Year, Rainbow Hearts. Hello, hello. Wow, hello, hello. I hope everyone's okay. Are you hair burner, Shannon? Shannon Robertson? It's nice to see you all. I am a happy new year, right? It's 2021. Oh, True Akita Lover. Hello, True Akita Lover. Happy New Year, Mickey. Hello, hello. Happy New Year, Lisa Johnson. Hello, hello. So good to see you all. I took extra help sleeping. How come you guys are up so early? Or you did you stay up all night? It's like 4 a.m., so... You guys are all up early. Winston, what are you looking at? Look at this dog. Look at this dog. Look at this dog. What's he doing? And here's his brother. His brother must have found something outside to attack. Still up? Yay! Up all night, Lisa Johnson. Holy cow. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. It was exciting. Hello, Barbara Heath. Do we have any crazy news? Anything crazy happen on the news? Your friend in California is still in ICU. Oh my God. 2021 is here. Hello, Mel's Creation Station. It's so good to see you. It is so very good to see you. I'm glad to see you too, Cindy. Uh-oh. Winston sees Gonzo alerting. You parted with an old friend? Hang on a second. Let me... I gotta call my Gonzo in. Such a good boy. Now I got stuck up by the dumpster. Come on, Gonzo! Come here! All right, here he comes. He's coming back. You don't need to go out with him, Winston. Sorry. You do not need to go out with him. You two take it too far when you're together. And how the hell did you know that he was alerting? all the way across the yard without going outside or being able to clearly see him. Huh? Well, you could kind of see him out the window. Gonzo, come on! You're not going out there with him. No. No. You're not. Sorry, you are absolutely not. No. No, it's not happening. You guys are not going out there together. How the hell did he do that? Gonzo was easily, easily 500 feet away. Maybe a thousand feet away. Maybe a thousand feet away. How long is a football field? Quite easily longer than a football field away. Happy New Year, Barbara Heath. Happy New Year. There's a live chat icon. Um, Happy New Year. Winston was laying here on the couch and knew that Gonzo had alerted to something a thousand feet away outside the bus across the yard. That's craziness. How they know that? I don't know how they know that. Happy New Year. Did nothing happen at midnight? I hope nothing happened at midnight. 
Dogs are awesome like that. I know. It just blows me away, you know? Working on the things here. Uh, I took a uh, Mel's creation station. I took a, um, I took a sleep aid last night. I took a sleep aid at 4 o'clock yesterday afternoon. So I went to sleep at 5 o'clock last night. And didn't wake up until just a few minutes ago. Happy New Year, Wendy. Nice to see you. So I don't know how my New Year's was. I slept right the fuck through it. Checked right the fuck out and slept through it. And now it's 2021. A new year. What the fuck am I going to do with it? I might just spend the whole year on the fucking beach. Doing nothing. You know? <laughs> if I didn't feel guilty about leaving my dogs at home when I go to the beach, that's exactly what I would do. That's good. I need those sometimes, you know? Hypomania happens to me too. Yeah. 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 The best sleep ever. I'm just going to start enjoying the beach and ignoring the rest of the world. Yeah. Nope. As long as I got gas, that's all I care about. No, there's, there's, I don't, I, no. There is one that's about 40 minutes away and I've got to make sure my car is working better than it is right now before I can take a 40 minute drive. So, um, that's that. I've got to make sure my car is working better than it is before I can take a 40 minute drive. It's just the way it goes. Oh, Gonzo wants in the house now. Yeah. Um. So as soon as my car is working better. <laughs> Winston, move. Let Gonzo in. Come on, Gonzo. Come on, Gonzo. Come on, Gonzo. Winston, don't get into any trouble out there. Between the two of you wanting to get out there together and raise hell. So what am I going to do with the new year? I really don't want another year. Honestly, I don't want another year. I really don't want another year. But here, I have another year. I don't want another year. I think when we get to a certain point, anyway, you don't want to listen to me say that. I will just depress everyone. So, yeah, Happy New Year. Here we are, another year, whether we like it or not, right? Whether we like it or not, we've got another year. Happy New Year. I hope you guys all had fun. Oh, Kathy. Oh. Just yell Jumanji. Yeah, you don't want to listen to what was just going through my fucking head, honestly. I will be just a negative pile of... That's why I went to sleep. I took a sleeping pill and went to sleep last night because... <coughs> there is no way... <coughs> I could have faked being happy last night. <coughs> And I didn't want to ruin everybody's New Year's Eve, so. Do not want another year. I honestly do not. I honestly, like, honestly do not want. I wasn't on Instagram, Catherine. 
I wasn't on Instagram. I didn't do anything. I slept all night. <coughs> you didn't celebrate. You worked. Well, I spent almost all of my New Year's Eve working, so. And New Year's Days, too. That's all we have to look forward to. Watching television, working, and dying. Bumping into a couple of fucking assholes along the way that have no consideration or care for you at all. And then die. That's it. That's all you got to look forward to. Or that's all I've had to look forward to. All my life I've wanted something to look forward to. Never had anything to look forward to. Because what I wanted was a house with love in it. And that is just something that people like me don't get. And it took me 60 fucking years to accept it. Someone is in the ICU that you talk to daily. <coughs> and you're terrified. You're just terrified, I'm sure. That he's not going to make it. Thank you, Catherine. You know, I mean, I, I think that when we're done, and we know we're done, there should be an easier way to be done with being done. I mean, our government won't let us take ourselves out. But then they also won't let us do what we want to do. So where's the freedom in that? I don't see any freedom in that. I really don't. I really don't. I don't see any freedom in that. And I don't see us having any freedom for that anywhere in the world. See, that's lovely, Mills. That's wonderful. Stage five in my city and people are so inconsiderate. You delivered groceries to three. Oh, my God. Assisted living facilities. It was scary and heartwarming. You delivered groceries to three assisted living facilities that don't have food for their residents? Three assisted living facilities didn't have food for their residents? There should be a choice. There really should be an easy choice that doesn't have to make it be traumatizing for everybody involved there should be an easy choice oh for three different clients okay gotcha 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 not three different assisted living facilities okay assisted living facilities i was like three different assisted don't they have food for their patients We all have ups and downs, but when we hit the ups, we feel amazing. See, I haven't hit it up in a long, 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 long time. Long, 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 long time. Mm. 
Not a real one, anyway. A few fake ones. A couple of ups that were purely generated from the delusions in my brain. But no real ups, no real ups. Just delusional ups. Just delusional. Was that? Okay. Why is it that all honey, all honey jars leak honey everywhere? Give us a way to to end it all, and they wouldn't have to worry about overpopulation. But they make ending it all illegal and nearly fucking impossible. They make dying natural illegal. And nearly fucking impossible. We have to do everything we can to save every single life. They wouldn't have to worry about world overpopulation if they would just make suicide legal. And easier for people to access. But they won't do that. that that's too humane. They would rather force your ass to stay alive and keep participating in this shit show that is life. See, I told you, don't stick around. I'm going to be real fucking depressing today. If I say what's on my mind, I am going to be really depressing. <laughs> but for some of us, life is just a shit show. And when we don't want to play anymore, we should be able to stop playing. It's one of those natural laws of the universe. Honey jars got a leak. You know, it's really fucking annoying, though. I got honey on my... <laughs> I'm, I'm depressed, too. I woke up yesterday and went right back to sleep. Yeah. Yeah. Ah. Well, there we go. Cheers. We can drink our unhappy fucking coffee in the morning. And TikTok can't stop us from being unhappy when we're having coffee in the motherfucking morning. If we want to be unhappy, TikTok, guess what? We get to be fucking unhappy. <laughs> Damn it, TikTok won't let us be unhappy. Be happy, be happy, be happy, be happy, be happy, be happy. Motherfucking TikTok, if we don't want to be happy, we still want to hang out. Fuck you. We'll do it. <laughs> Fuck you, TikTok. I think that um, that one creator that I had a beef with, the one that threatened to get an attorney, I think he had a significant hand in getting me shut down on TikTok, if you'd want to know the truth. The false positivity is really disgusting. It's, it's, it's more than I can stand right now, anyway. 
I certainly cannot handle the false positivity. You know, just watching that Jason guy dance, dance like a fucking, like a fucking caricature, do all these cute, I just fucking can't stand it. Yeah, I got shut down on TikTok. Yep, I shut down on TikTok. Yesterday I got shut down on TikTok. I knew it was coming. I had the title of my fucking live said, delete me. <laughs> when they shut me down, the title of my live said, delete me. Six months. The title of my live said, delete me. <laughs> it did. And so they fucking did. <laughs> they did. <laughs> The title of my live said, delete me. <laughs> six months. Six months. I'm shut down for six months. Actually, probably when I, if I were to, I, if I, you can't find me on TikTok right now. If I were to try to log in right now, they would probably tell me that my whole account was shut down forever. <laughs> but, <laughs> the title of my live was delete me. And when people came in and said, what do you mean delete me? Why do you want us to delete? Why do you want us to, to, to unfriend you, unfollow you? And I was like, no, no, fuck them. I don't go where I'm not wanted. I do not go where I am not wanted. Fuck them. I am not going to try to go to another account and beg them to let me have a little piece of the world again. Fuck them. I don't beg. Not me. No, not me. They're the ones who should be fucking begging. And since they won't, there will be no begging done. <laughs> That's it. I could still be making videos, but I'm sure that the videos I would make after this shit would just get banned and then my whole account would get shut down. So since they banned me off lives for six months, I deleted my fucking account. Because my lives are more than 50% of my TikTok persona. So, um, in my opinion, they killed my account when they deleted my ability to go live. So, I deleted my account. And someone listened, right? <laughs> I could sit here right now and tell off YouTube and YouTube wouldn't shut my fucking account off for it. Yeah, really. That's exactly what happened. That's exactly what fucking happened. I wasn't telling them off. I was calm. I was making fun of them. Well, they deleted my ability to go live. And I know that the next time... I know that the next time... They get mad at me for my videos. They'll delete my whole account. So instead of me losing all of my fucking content forever. They don't want me to go live for six months. My fucking account will be gone for six months. No, fuck that. I don't beg. I don't fucking beg. I am going to be true to myself in my online persona or I am not going to have an online fucking persona. I have to be me. I don't beg. I don't fucking beg. I'm done begging TikTok. I don't beg. And I'm not going to leave my account there for people to think I'm still there while they're fucking with me to the degree at which they're fucking with me. 
I'm done, TikTok. So I deleted it. Yes, I did. Quarter million followers. I deleted the fucking account. I, you can't force me to just happy dance and sing and entertain. I'm going to be real. I'm going to be fucking real. And if they won't let me be real, then I won't beg them to be on their platform. I think we should be able to be fucking real. It's time we got to be real. This plastic fake happy horse shit has got to stop. The world is not a plastic happy face fake place. It's got to stop. We got to be able to be fucking real. That's why you're driving us insane because we are never allowed to be real. I'm sorry. We never see reality, not real reality in other people. We see perfection on television and happy gaiety on television and nobody says anything too negative on television or on social media. I'm sorry. I'm really ranting here. I took a hit. <laughs> happy New Year. This coffee is really fucking good in case anybody was wondering. I won't beg. I don't beg TikTok. Fuck that. I could go open my account and make a video right now. But I won't. Coffee here every day. That's right. Every morning. We see very skinny, very perfectly quaffed, plastic surgeon, lighting manipulated. That's what we see. And you know what? I think if we wanted to see that, that's what we would have been watching when we were making TikTok relevant. If we wanted to see perfection nonstop in our daily lives, we would have been glued to Facebook or Instagram or network television. But we wanted to see reality. We wanted to be real. So that's why we were on TikTok. And as soon as we made TikTok famous, TikTok brought in the A-list team. Then the A-list team came in and we got, now you've got network fucking television over there on TikTok, just like you have everywhere else in the world. Just like you have everywhere else in the world. It's gross. It's really fucking gross. It's so disgusting. It is, I, you know, every time I see one of those TikTok performers that have millions and millions and millions of followers on there right now doing happy, I, I, I mean, I swear to God, one of the things that got me banned, so there was a TikTok creator. I don't even know his name. I didn't report him. I just made a comment. But you can't make a negative comment on a blue checks that really, really fucks with them on a blue checks, on a blue checks video if you are a content creator. Right, the Kardashians. Um, this is this is uh Pete's P E E P E E T S. Anyway. There was a famous guy, I don't even know who he is, but a famous Hollywood guy with millions of views that did a video where he walked up to a fucking Lolita-looking 12-year-old. Jeffrey Epstein-looking 12-year-old fucking girl on the in, in a public place who was looking at her phone and making a fucking TikTok... Lolita looking 12 year old and this big Hollywood fucking star who isn't like went up to her or not a Hollywood star but a TikTok star went up to her and said oh here let me help you make a video I'm famous and so she made a cute little wiggle your wiggle your body 
Lolita Wiggle Your Fucking Body video with him. And he posted it and said, I didn't even get her username. He just normalized. He just normalized Jeffrey fucking Epstein level recruitment on TikTok. And I said something about it. That's normalizing fucking Epstein recruiting level shit. Every tween girl who sees that kid do that shit is going to think the motherfucker that walks up to her on the goddamn beach and wants to videotape her is okay because she could be a star. Are you fucking kidding me? And I say something in my live about it yesterday morning. And my lives get shut down for six months. By God, you will not call bullshit on a blue check that makes us money. Blue checks make us money, bitch. You don't get to call bullshit on a blue check. Even when it's most disgusting, filthy thing, especially in this day and age, to see on a goddamn app used by tweens. My God, Jeffrey Epstein just was a year ago, you know. It was disgusting. That was a schooling shit. That was bullshit that shouldn't be fucking allowed or encouraged. But it made a lot of money for TikTok. So who gives a flying fuck? How many long girls it hurts? I'm sorry. I'm really mad. I'm not mad. I'm really not mad. I'm just, well, you know, I'm just fucking whatever. I don't know what I am. I'm not nearly stoned enough. That's what I know for sure. I know that for sure. I'm not nearly stoned enough for this day and age. Leaky fucking honey jars. I need to buy more honey again. Oh, I'm turning into a honey junkie. Why don't they make like 10 pound honey jars? Why do they sell the honey in such a large, you know, if I'm going to use honey for my coffee, they need to sell it in like 10 pound bags, like sugar. I'm having to go to the store for coffee, I mean for honey, twice a fucking week is ridiculous. I might drink too much honey in my coffee. I dared to say that. I talked about that in my live where I was asking TikTok to please delete me. <laughs> um, Nicole, I am not going to say that name and I'd ask for you not to say it as well, sweetheart. Who are you anyway? Let's see. Nicole just came in here out of the blue. Oh, look it. I've asked you. Um, you have actually. Okay, loud lip. I'm really glad to see you here, honey. I did not tell my followers to harass anyone, Loud Liv, but I have asked you legally to leave me alone, and here you are again on my live. Loud Liv, here you are on my live, and you don't know it, but I've got some pretty powerful people that care about me that saw me post the video asking you to leave me alone. Now, this is the fifth time I've asked you to stop harassing me. If you told TikTok that I asked my followers to harass you, you were lying because I did not ask my followers to harass you. I would not do that. You fucking disgust me, loud lib. You fucking disgust me. I said what I said one time about you. I meant every fucking word of it. And now that you're in here on my live, I'm going to get to record it. I witnessed you driving 80 miles an hour down the highway with your loudspeaker. 300 people in your TikTok live. 
you were bird dogging an 18 wheeler going 80 miles an hour on an interstate and I saw you fucking do it. You were telling the people in your lives, somebody screen record this, somebody screen record this, watch this, watch this, as you bird dogged your fucking car up in front of him and started yelling on your loudspeaker, telling him about what does MAGA stand for? Mexicans always get across. I witnessed you do that to an 18 wheeler. I do not give a fuck if that 18 wheeler was a goddamn Satan driving it himself. You were not only risking everyone's life on that fucking highway, but you were doing it just to get clout. You had 300 people in your life giving you cash while you harassed an 18-wheeler on a fucking interstate. How many of those people were little kids who wish they could get a TikTok account like yours? Who are going to, the first chance they get, get a loudspeaker and get in a fucking car and go up on the internet, on the interstate, and try to get clout by driving 80 miles an hour down the fucking highway. Yes, I saw you do that and it fucking pissed me off. Irresponsible motherfuckers like you should not be allowed to be on an app. But no, because you generated income for TikTok... They told me when I filed a complaint against you for driving to fucking in danger while you were live, they told me that your content doesn't violate. Your content, driving to fucking in danger with 300 people in your live, did not violate their terms and conditions. But my content... Didn't even, wasn't talking about you. I wasn't talking about you. I wasn't talking about anyone. I was talking about how fucked up TikTok is. My content gets banned forever. But your content, driving to fucking in danger to get clout, teaching kids to drive to in danger to get clout, is okay. And now you're fucked because I've asked you three times to leave me alone. And you keep repeatedly coming back for me. And now I've got it recorded. Congratulations. You're the one with the lawsuit this time, sweetheart. Now I am blocking you. Again, third time I've blocked you. I've asked you to leave me the fuck alone. right? I've asked him officially many, many times to leave me the fuck alone. And here he is. What time is it? At what time did he come? Oh, 4.26 a.m. He comes into my fucking live and starts talking shit. I haven't mentioned him in ages. He needs, he's in trouble now. Thank you, Shannon. Somebody was here watching my... Okay, here's what happened. I mentioned that I'm sure... Well, here's the thing. Here's what happened. I mentioned that I'm sure another content creator had something to do with me getting banned. Okay, Michelle. And he was watching because he's obsessed with me. He's obsessed with me. I haven't been telling anybody to do anything. I haven't been telling anybody to do anything. Um, no, I don't think he's the only one. I don't think he's the only one. There are four or five creators that I have blocked, big creators that I have blocked. As soon as I got a big growth spurt, a lot of people got real ugly. 
a lot of people got real ugly. I haven't said anything about it. Um, I have just been, when it gets beyond the point of where I feel like it can be repaired, I just block them. Sure he is. Hi, Slab. Yeah, hi, Amanda. Sorry, we just had some uh, uh, excitement because the, uh, the loud lib decided to join my live and start giving me shit as if he's not, you know. He came in here and started saying, he came in here and he started saying, uh, you deserve being banned because he said I told my followers to harass him. I never told my followers to harass him. Not once. In fact, I told my followers not to harass him. I told my followers that I was not interested in a beef. No tit for tat. More than once. Hey, Ebizzle, nice to see you, honey. Yeah, well, you know, he's going to, he's still obviously, quite obviously, he is still, I never did. I never did. I did not ever tell my followers to harass him. Nope. He really is. He he still has that, you know, I triggered him because he knows. Here's the thing. When my truth triggers people, it makes them feel a certain kind of way. And until they get rid of that certain kind of way feeling, they're going to keep attacking. They want to give me the bad feeling. They He knows he was wrong. He was wrong on several accounts, okay? He came into my live. He started this. He did. Because he came into my live when I climbed in the ranks past him. I was bigger than him, much bigger than him. He came into my live. Actually, I wasn't bigger to, than him when, when he came into my live and said this. But anyway, he came into my live and said, I just raised $10,000 for Joe Biden in my lives. And I said, and he said, and TikTok better verify me now because I raised $10,000 for Joe Biden. Now, him raising $10,000 in his live for Joe Biden can mean one of two things. One of two things. Either he actually got people to donate. He said, I raised $10,000 for Joe Biden. That's what he said in my life. I raised $10,000 for Joe Biden. <clears throat> so that means if he really raised $10,000 to be able to hand to Joe Biden, that means that he raised $40,000 or $30,000 he raised $30,000 on TikTok and gave $10,000 to Joe Biden. Because if you get $30,000 in your lives, you get $10,000. TikTok gets $20,000. Okay. So for him to come in my live and say, I raised $10,000 for Joe Biden, that means that he had to have gotten people to give him $30,000. And only $10,000 of it went to Joe Biden. Or it means that people donated $10,000. People donated $10,000 in his live. And Joe Biden is going to get three, three grand. Joe Biden's going to get $3,800. And TikTok gets the rest. Because... TikTok takes two-thirds of any money that goes into your live. So either way, his fucking statement was a lie. Because he told people in his live that all donations were going to Joe Biden. But that's the reason that we get... the Me calling him bullshit on that is the reason that now when we open a live, we can, we can, we can set the donations to go to a charity. 
before I called bullshit on him saying that and doing that, you couldn't have the donations in your life go to a charity. Really? He has a publisher? Yeah, email it all to me because I'm going to I'm gonna start my own fucking lawsuit. Email his info to me. Thank you. So either way, either way, well, here's the thing. He misled people in his live. So TikTok made a lot of money. And he was bragging that he was going to get verified by TikTok and get a blue check. Because he brought that money in. I'm sorry. He incited this. He incited this. Not me. I didn't go looking for him. He came into my live and told his shit. He incited it. But I'm the one who ends up losing my fucking account. Because I call bullshit. If I called bullshit on what he did, I called bullshit on the celebrities that are doing pedophiling schooling. They are normalizing, ped normalizing, approaching Lolita's on the beach and recruiting them. I call bullshit. I get my account shut down because I'm costing TikTok money. Only one video up on. Yeah, he's the only thing he's ever done is loud scream. Actually, this is his second account. He's got another account because this is the second time I've banned him. So he must have two YouTube accounts. TikTok takes two-thirds of it. So he told everybody in his live, your money is all going to Joe Biden. But only three grand of that ten grand went to Joe Biden. The rest of it went to TikTok. And I called bullshit on that, and I get shut down. I call bullshit on the, on the, on the, yeah, I'm the one who gets shut down for that shit. Yep, 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 yep. Thank you, Loud Live. You actually made me not feel like I wanted to commit suicide anymore by waking me up. Yeah, that's all he does. Loudspeakers screaming at trucks on the on the on the interstate. Screaming at trucks on the interstate, asking stupid questions. He doesn't even like he 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 doesn't even like when he goes to a Republican event with his loudspeaker and his microphone and says shit. He doesn't act like a, he's a Republican. He doesn't even act like he's a Republican. He acts like I mean, he doesn't act like he's a Democrat. He doesn't ask them hard questions. He asks like he's a Republican. And then he looks at the, it's like he's obsessed with me. He is annoying. And then he looks at the camera like, hoo, hoo, hoo. They think I'm a, they think I'm a Republican. They think I'm one of them. Hoo, hoo, hoo. And then he asks them another fucking Republican statement. I mean, it's not even like he's got the balls to be the opposition voice when he's walking around with his fucking loudspeaker. He's such a pussy. It's kind of a funny character, but too much, right? He has a cameo account. He will charge you 20 bucks for him to call and abuse you. He's a closeted Republican. I really think he's a closeted Republican. I really do. Because when he goes to a public Republican events, unless he is well concealed... Yeah, he has a cameo account. He'll charge you 20 bucks to call him and abuse you. For yeah. yeah. See, he shouldn't have... Po he came in here and started this, and now I get to free fall on him. Fucking moron. He should have left me alone today. He really should have left me alone today. Now I'll free fall on him. Yep, he started it. 
everything that I've said about him has been the absolute truth. And, and it is really bullshit shit that he's done. And that triggers him so he has to destroy me. Well, he knows that I'm right. That's why he has to shut me up because he knows that I'm right. He doesn't like that I'm right. Instead of instead of owning his bullshit and saying, you're right, I'll change, he has to destroy me. He has to destroy me. He's the one who did it. Yep. Tick to, I reported him going 80 miles an hour down the highway. Exactly. Well, because he can. <laughs> well, some woman, please go date him so he can leave me alone. <laughs> That's hilarious. No, yeah, somebody needs to, because sure the fuck I would never. And he knows it. I'd never. He couldn't get a woman like me with a fucking pork, ch pork chop and a thousand dollar bill. Exactly, that's part of his problem. He couldn't get a woman like me with a pork chop and a thousand dollar bill. He really couldn't. No fucking way in hell. <laughs> this is fucking recorded. Okay. <laughs> and I know it, and he knows it, and it just enrages him. Even if we're huge age different, it just enrages him. How dare you? He's a fucking New Yorker. He's one of those loud lib. He's a fucking New Yorker. Not that I have anything against New Yorkers. Trust me. I fucking love the city. Thank you, Nicole. It feels good to smile. He made me smile. See? Thank you. <laughs> you got a woman for him, but he might, she might drive him insane. <laughs> um, that, sounds, that sounds about right. Um... I'm not going to say that name out loud because I don't want YouTube to start on me. But but that email that I sent, um, that he sent to me with his real name on it. That email. Hi, Gilda. Welcome. Um, I think that's the, yeah. They would be perfect together. Hmm. It's nice to see you, Gilda. Thanks for stopping by. <sighs> Thanks for stopping by. Right? That's it. That's the, that's the, uh-huh. I did because I, I took a, I took a pill that knocked me on my ass and I slept for 12 hours. I took actually 10 hours. Put me out for 10 hours. Right? We needed the laugh, right? Try putting those two together without a space in between them. Right? Well, um... I have medicine left over from several years ago. A doctor had me taking this medicine every single night. And I had to stop taking it because people vandalized my bus while I was asleep. And I didn't even know it. It knocked me out that good. Um, but, uh, so I had to stop taking it. And I don't think I needed, to, if I need to take something like that every single night, something's really fucked up. So, um... It just keeps showing loud library. <laughs> yeah, so, um, but it's called Seroquel. It's a real, it's uh, Seroquel. It is, uh, it's really knocking you out. It's not a narcotic. But you do shut your eyes go down and you can't even like if you try to get up and walk around after taking it, you're banging into shit and stuff. My cousin came one time to my bus and woke me up after I'd taken it. And I swear to God, when I woke up the next morning, I had bruises all over me from 
from trying to get up and walk across the bus to tell her whatever she wanted to know because she wasn't even coming over to bother me she was just coming over to say something on her way by because <laughs> cousins do shit like that <laughs> and, and so much sleep right yeah it knocks you out for too long and you're too deep right well it's like you're we all saw what right yeah you can't stay awake on it it you just yeah it's like it it's like lights out lights out you are out I had somebody vandalize my bus my dogs going crazy inside while they did it and I slept right through it on that medicine I vaguely remember waking up and hearing the dogs bark just like briefly and bam right back out again so I had to stop taking it but I have a bunch of it left so when I want to just really check out for 10 hours I can use it that is scary that's why I had to stop taking it I couldn't take it anymore I could not take it anymore because it would just really knock me out I have the option now right the medicine is now the medicine is uh, three years old but I have the option I have better st I have other stuff now that is um that's too much i have um other stuff that is much much lighter that actually allows me to dream that i'll take but if i really want to be shut down i'll take a seroquel and i really needed to be shut down yesterday i was i was seriously too fucked in the head It does get less powerful over time, so I have enough. I have, you know, I can take half the dose that this is prescribed at and get and get the same effect as I was getting taking twice the amount three years ago when I was on it. So it does it the effect that it has goes down over time. But I have enough here to last for a long, long, long time because the dosage on the bottle is actually twice what I need to take right now in order to get me knocked out. So it does the effectiveness. Actually, I started on a much on a much weaker dosage than this. I have a parlor account. And they need to know about the loud lit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he's the one that sent me that email. That email, yeah, that email, he's the one who sent that. You're not allowed to call bullshit on other creators on TikTok if you have a voice. That's great, Slab. Doesn't he have balls? He really does. He really does. He really does. Hey, you guys, what's really funny, what is really hilarious is that, what's really funny is that until, until, um, I want to unblock him on this channel, in fact. But anyway, until... I should have just put him in timeout, because I'd like to have his comments left here. But un, until until he came into my live this morning and admitted it, me knowing that he got me shut down wasn't provable. Now it's provable. You have to conform to their rules or you get blackballed. And I understand. I understand that they need to have rules. He gave me the info I needed. Thank you, Alan. Great. Oh, thank you so much. I'm so glad you recorded it. Thank you. Thank you. Because then I can leave him banned and just thank you. You know, I mean, I don't think that. You know, there wouldn't have been proof for me to feel comfortable telling people that he 
did it if he hadn't come in here and admitted that he did it for everybody that was in here and for all of time you know I mean he came in and admitted that he did it right here on my live so there you go he is the one who is guilty of what I accused him of foolish foolish man shows you his brain capacity he fucking blew it if he had just he has a criminal history <gasps> really right Cindy yeah it's uh you have to take you have to get yeah you have to be able to get it you can scroll up through the comments and see who I'm talking about the only time I am going to say his name in this live is when I said it while I was addressing him because he came in here and, and started shit and other people have said it as well What is E. Bizzle going to do? Oh. Oh. <laughs> I know you're E. Bizzle. No, I don't want to start another TikTok account. Fuck no, I don't want to do that. I don't beg. I don't beg. I don't fucking beg. They don't want me there. I won't go there. They made it clear they don't want me there. They do not want to let me be myself. So I do not want to be on their fucking platform. I will not create another account. I could go over there right now and make a video. But 75% of what I get from TikTok comes from my lives. And they shut down my live. That means they don't want me to be me. The same shit will just happen. That's right. I'm not going to put any more energy into it. They don't want me. They don't want me. I don't go where I'm not wanted. I hope that I don't start getting, um, Happy New Year, Nails by Sherry. Yeah, I don't go where I'm, you know, I only got a few lessons as a kid. As a kid, I only got a few lessons. But a lot of the lessons, the, the ones that I got were really good ones. And one of the biggest lessons I got taught is you do not go where you're not wanted. Don't go where you're not wanted. So I'm not going to TikTok. TikTok doesn't want me. TikTok doesn't want to let me be real. I just can't. I can't do it. I can't. Ooh, no, fuck them. You know, they don't want me. They don't want. Me. Same thing with Facebook. I could go back on Facebook right now. But Facebook has made it clear that they don't want me. Not if I'm being myself they want me as long as I'm being somebody else and I don't want a platform where I have to try to be I can't be anybody but myself so it's just going to keep happening um, we'll see how long I last on YouTube I don't know how long I'll last on YouTube but I'm happy to be here as long as you guys are happy to be here with me so thank you I appreciate your support so very much and oh my god what kind of criminal history does he have if you're not being real you have to sugarcoat everything that's right to be heard on those sites that's right do they tell you why at least no right I think that from the very beginning when they see talent that is able to to talk to people and and build a following they should take them under their wing you know as a new platform new creators are just expected to figure it all out on their own and it's really hard with that mystery algorithm to know when they're fucking with you and when they're not but TikTok doesn't 
seem to I you know if I were king of that motherfucking forest which I'm not but if I were king of that motherfucking forest I would have a team that speaks in person to new talent who is gaining traffic who starts to get in trouble with their content maybe not every new creator but new creators that start to get in trouble with their content have a fucking conversation with them don't just point them to the rules and say go over there and figure out which one of them we're not happy with you about and change you know what I'm saying I mean that's what I would do if I were TikTok. I wouldn't just kick people to the fucking curb because they're hard to manage. You know, they only want the gravy. And they've got lots of it right now because we, we put TikTok on the map. Our activism put TikTok on the map. Our activism got our president to give TikTok billions of dollars of free press. Billions of dollars of free press. When you see the number of times TikTok got mentioned on the news because Donald Trump was mad at TikTok. And why was Donald Trump mad at TikTok? Donald Trump was not mad at TikTok because people were dancing and singing and doing cute little fucking skits. TikTok got billions of dollars of free advertising because of activists on TikTok. And because of that, billions of dollars of free advertising that they got from activists on TikTok. Now the blue checks are all there. Now the big names have come. All of a sudden, all the big names are looking at TikTok. They just got billions of dollars of free advertising. And it is like the Wild West. It's a wide open venue. We can go over there and take it over. Because we need to be the ones soaking up all of the money. And TikTok kicks the content creators that put them on the fucking map to the curb. Instead of investing a little bit of money into maybe helping them through the ropes. They just kick you all to the curb. Because the blue checks who have big production teams and advisors and assistants and everything else to help them manage their fame they don't need an investment from TikTok TikTok doesn't have to invest any money into helping them they come with their own teams and their own creative whatever the fuck so why the fuck should TikTok invest in small creators who might have a chance when they get the blue checks attention it's just so unfair I mean, isn't it a travesty? We just watched it play out. It's It can't be denied. And I dared to say it. So now I'm shut down. The loud lib still has a fucking account. I mean... Anyway... I sat here and... Uh-oh, morning med check. Is it time to take our morning meds? Did everybody go to sleep? Oh, wow. Look at all these comments. I haven't been able to see. I The comments stop scrolling and you guys have made all these comments while I'm talking. Never sell yourself out, right? It's sickening. Men, mentors just like any other job or training, right? Agree 100%. I can't see what he said. Oh, yeah. I shut it off. Yeah. You can't fix it if they don't tell you how. That's right. Understand exactly what you're saying now good you see what i'm saying that's exactly yeah without telling them why because of the rally tickets right right tulsa rally that's when it shifted the tulsa rally that's when it shifted sure you don't think I'll get banned? Well, Oracle's owned by the government, so we know what happened there, right? D 
Did you take your meds? I gotta take my meds. I'm gonna go get my meds. It's 5 a.m. It's time to do our meds. I'll be right back. I'm gonna get my meds and get another cup of coffee. Morning med check. Oh, I forgot the meds part. <sighs> oh, look, we have a... Oh, my goodness. Look, we have a gift from the For You page. We have a gift from the For You page. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. We have a gift from the For You page. Don Beck. I had a vibe about him. Yeah, I had a vibe about him. I had a vibe about Don Beck when he joined. I'm going to get meds. If you're happy and you know it, shake your mitts. If you're happy and you know it, shake your mitts. If you're happy and you know it, then your glow will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, shake your motherfucking mitts. If you're happy and you know it, shake. If you're happy and you know it, shake your motherfucking mitts. If you're happy and you know it, shake your motherfucking meds. If you are happy and you know it, then your shake your motherfucking meds will show it. If you're happy and you know it, shake your motherfucking meds. <laughs> oh, you just don't want to see me get knocked off here. Here's the thing, Don Beck. I have to be myself. I have to be me. The biggest attraction of me, the biggest attraction of me is that I am being myself. I really believe that. I'm being authentic. And if they don't like me, they certainly will kick me off of here as well. I don't know what the fuck to do about it, honestly. I wish I did. Thank you, Kath. Catherine Martinique. That's right. Um, I think that, uh... I did not know that he's quitting politics, but um, is he going to go on the speaking circuit? I bet he's just going to go. I mean, what else is there to do after you've been a vice president? 
I mean, he doesn't, he's wealthy now. He's a billionaire now, I'm sure, a millionaire. It's a great thing for this nation if he gets out of politics. I think you're right. Does he say what he's doing, what he's stepping down to do? I'm sure he's going to go on the church speaking circuit and make a lot of money. He could make a lot of money on the church speaking circuit. That's right. They can't take my email down, so you'll be able to find me no matter what. Yeah, there's tons of people on YouTube being themselves. That's right. He's quitting politics. I think that he's probably quitting politics. I would like to believe that he's quitting politics because he sees how corrupt it is. But I just don't believe that there's a noble reason why he's stepping down. I do not believe there's a noble reason. Okay. I I I didn't I didn't know. <laughs> YouTube is our last bastion for sanity in this world, right? I agree. I don't know. I don't think so. I don't think so. I don't really think that's him. No, I don't think it's him anymore. He just doesn't want to see me get kicked off. I don't think it's really him. I don't think Don Beck is is uh, Matt. I might as well start calling him his real name, Matt, right? No, he's really just Don Beck. He's really just Don Beck. He's just Don Beck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you, you guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. The reason that I like TikTok is because it lets you be yourself. I just didn't realize it really didn't want me to be myself. Okay, Don, we're cool. We're all good. It's all good. I thought you were a gift from the For You page. I got excited. You're not. That's okay. The loud lib is all the gift from the For You page I can stand. Good. You got snuggled into your blankets. <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> I'm glad. <laughs> hey, Misty Wallace. Thank you so much, sweetheart. I appreciate it. Did all of you guys get cards? It's New Year's Day. They say what you do on New Year's Day, you're going to end up doing for the rest of the year. And it was true. What I did last New Year's Day, I did every day of 2020 every single day of 2020 is the same thing i did on january 1st 2020 you haven't gotten one yet did i did you send me your name and address if you did then it's in the mail because i'm all cut up on my requests actually i've got three that came in yesterday You're in the sticks. Well, I sent yours. I sent yours a while ago, though. I wish I could. Maybe this is time for me to write my book. Maybe I should spend my day writing my book, working on my book, and then maybe... Every day of 2021 will be spent on my book. I'll spend New Year's Day. I'll go to the beach, work on my tan some more. Come home and work on my book. Good night, Amanda. Good night, sweetheart. Thanks for stopping by. Happy New Year. We're going to chat all year. 
and I'm going to work on my book all year. We're going to chat every morning for coffee. And, and, and I'm going to work on my book and go to the beach. And maybe, I think I could, if I were really inspired, if, if I were really inspired, I could probably knock 1977 out in, in a week. Good night, Amanda. Happy New Year. Every day of 2021, you will say, oh, thank you, Amanda. Enlightened people enlightened people yes every day of 2021 you will start your day speaking to enlightened people because we are i believe that for sure here's to 2021 that's right here's to 2021 let's clink our coffee cups or whatever implements of destruction we have raise your pipe if you are wrong in all the right ways Good night. Thanks again. You're welcome, Amanda. Yay, we made it. We did. We made it through 2020. We did. <sighs> we. I just heard a gunshot. Five ten a.m. I heard a gunshot. It's five ten a.m. Do you know where your children are? Y'all remember those commercials back in the back in the day? Twenty one. Happy New Year. Bring it on. That's right. Gonzo and Winston are great. Um. They're great. I know, right? 2020 was horrible. It was a fucking horrible year. It was horrible. It sounds like a bad word. It really does. I bet that the show 2020 is going to change their fucking name to 2021. <laughs> I wouldn't even want the... If that was my TV show, I would change its name to 2021. I wouldn't even want to be named 2020. Even though I had that name for 20 years, I still wouldn't want it. I would change it to 2021. Fuck that. I no. <laughs> that would be quite a splash, wouldn't it? I mean, wouldn't that be cool? That's actually a great publicity stunt. 2020 changes its name to 2021. <laughs> In breaking news. The beloved long-running show 2020 has changed its name to 2021 because fuck that shit. <laughs> now I want to go make that TikTok video. <laughs> I'll make that real. I'll make that real. You should be getting your your what your stimulus soon oh you came here looking for me oh hi cindy askin i'm so glad welcome i'm so glad you can't be spoken of in this house we cannot say 2020 <laughs> i should really do that that tiktok uh, not that video but I, yeah in breaking news the long-running television show 2020 has announced that it will be changing its name to 2021. Because fuck that shit.
We need to change 2020 vision to 2021 vision. That's right. Nothing shall be named 2020. Shall, so shall it be. So shall it was. We will change the name of the fucking decade to 20, 20 and a half. <laughs> there will be no 2020. One door closes so another one can open. That's right. $600 is what we're getting. We are getting $600. $600. $600 because they couldn't just pass a stimulus that said give them $2,000. It is impossible for them to pass a fucking stimulus that just says pay the American people. They have to put a stimulus in that says... Pay the American people and, oh, let us fuck the American people in these two ways while you're paying them. If you want to pay the American people, then the American people have to want to get fucked in these two ways. we got to add these two little things on here. They're not related to the American people needing to get paid at all. But we got to put these two things in there because we cannot just fucking pay our citizens. We have to fuck them at the same time. You got to promise us this reach around if you want this shit from us. Basically is what lawmakers have said to us. We cannot just pass a bill that says you get paid. We have to pass a bill that says these other two things have to happen. It's fucking insane. Take all the pork out of it and just send us the two grand that's right it is a miracle oh my god there goes my neck Some folks got their stimulus. I know. Well, this is what this is how the stimulus goes. Remember, we didn't we didn't nobody got it all at the same time. The first time. The way the stimulus has to go is that the very poorest of the nation, the very poorest of the nation get their checks first. And then once a week or once every 3 days after the first payment, you'll see more payments come out. Remember, they were staggered. They can't all come at once. They have to slowly come out. And the way that they work it is that the very poorest of the nation gets theirs first. A lot of us really needed 2000 600 is coming, but it's going to take a few days for it to work its way up the income ladder. I, I, I don't expect to get mine for um, probably two weeks. That's how it went last time, and that's how it will go this time, too. They're not all coming out at once, but I know a lot of people that already got their stimulus. You got yours, but he didn't get his yet. Do you guys file taxes together or separately? Oh, yeah. They've already started sending $600. Yeah, a lot of people were telling me in my live yesterday morning before I got shut down that um, that they've already gotten their, their check, their, their money in the bank. A lot of people said, a lot of people got notices saying that it's pending. It'll be deposited on Monday after the holiday, like January 4th. A lot of people are saying it's going to come on. They got notices from their bank that it's going to be available in their account on January 4th. I worry about how many people aren't going to get to see their stimulus because the accounts that they get it deposited to are overdrawn and have bad check debt. I worry about how many banks are going to actually get this stimulus instead of the people because the people have um, overdraft charges that have to be paid.
I bet that's going to happen a lot. That's going to happen a lot. The banks are going to get a lot of these $600 checks because of the overdraft charges. We really need legislation that will just give every citizen two grand at back to back. Don't put pork in it. Don't put fucking laws in it. Don't expect us to accept your fucking bullshit. Just give every citizen two grand. People that owe taxes still get their stimulus. I owe taxes. I currently owe taxes. I still got my stimulus last time. I owe $2,000 in taxes right now. But I got my stimulus. Right? So, yeah, there's a lot of... Um, 2020 was a nightmare. Anyway, I drank all my coffee. I want more coffee. <sighs> because of light, she only got 437 because of overdraft charges, right? Yeah. There's a lot of people who have, who have charges because they've been so desolate who won't get that money, the bank will get it because of overdraft charges. Yep. The people who need it the most won't get it because the accounts that they use. That's why I said it so that, yeah. It's really sad. But that's why we need the 2000. Yep. It's really sad. That is the United States. Welcome to America. Ka -ka. Well, that's me. I'm just a big bundle of fucking joy this morning. <laughs> You want to be reminded of the, you want to, you want to, you want to have the shit pointed out in the horseshit. <laughs> Just come to Butter Hags Live and she will certainly depress you. <laughs> That's what I'm here. You're on the poorest list. There's nothing wrong with being on the poorest list. I hope you got yours first. I hate that they stagger them that way, but they have to be done that way. Yeah. That is okay. That's why we have disability, is so that people can be on it. Oh, man, I have ants playing house on my couch. I need to spray my fucking bus. Anyway. It's okay. That's right, Nicole Wilson, but every other every other country has been taxing their citizens all along appropriately so that they have the infrastructure available to help when shit hits the fan. We do not tax the rich appropriately, so we have no infrastructure in place to support our people when the shit hits the fan. If we would tax companies appropriately, we would, in fact, have the ability
Yeah. Yeah. That's exactly what's what we're seeing happening right now is how little capitalism can help us. It's exposing capitalism for its uh, barbaric, for its very barbaric side effects. Like it because this country has not ever taxed appropriately. We have no infrastructure to take care of us when this shit hits the fan. We are going to actually be the country that handles World War Three, and I believe that this is World War Three. We are going to be the country that handles World War Three the worst. This is World War Three. And our government is not telling us it's World War III because they want us to be happy. It doesn't even last two weeks. $600, I can't imagine how $600 lasts a week if you've got kids. I mean, kids would soak $600 up in minutes. Seriously. $600 is nothing. But see, we don't have a socialism infrastructure in place to help us during a stress-filled time like this. So only the corporations have money and um, the corporations have not been responsible in how they manage it. That's right. That's right. When you only give the corporations money, then only the corporations can weather a storm. And if the corporations manage, mis mismanage it, then you're seeing World War III. This is crazy. This is at why isn't anybody else calling it World War Three? It's clearly World War Three. Most definitely, this is World War Three, and the fact that they're not telling people that it's World War Three is crazy talk. I'm gonna stop talking about it anyway. The new waves. I'm on a very tight budget too, so when the pandemic hit, I don't have I don't have debt either. And I am seriously quarantined, so I'm going to make it do my best to not catch it. I don't know what I'm gonna do, honestly. Half the time I wanna just check out. But I want to see what happens, you know. I could just sit here in my little fucking cocoon and watch what happens. Try to help people around me if it gets really bad. Anyway. Let's hope Biden, I agree, Biden and his team will help you. I'm in a really safe place. That's right. Um, I do feel like I'm in a safe place right now. I, um, all of the uh, negative vibes are gone here. Since I, since I did my YouTube video that called bullshit on a couple of people last week. Y'all remember that video that... I left up for a half a day and then deleted. Since I did that, the negative vibes have poof like magic just fucking disappeared. So um, I am in a safe place. I can just sit here and I can't believe how 
expensive groceries have gone up. Groceries are so expensive right now. For a while, I didn't have to look at how much something cost. But I bought groceries when my friend was coming and spent $200. And I don't have any groceries left right now. What video is still on TikTok? What video is still on TikTok? Which one? Ebizzle, which, which video is still on TikTok? I can't believe you got the same exact fucking car I have. Did you guys know that? Did you guys know that Ebizzle and I have the same car, same color and everything? The one of me saying what? What video of me saying what? What was I caught saying? A video of me saying something? What video was that? The one of me. Oh, the one of me saying, um, I got shut down and I'm white too. And I'm, I'm white and I'm shadow banned. I'm white and I'm shadow banned. I got triggered by all the black creators saying only black creators are being shadow banned. Black creators are being attacked. Black creators are being attacked. And I was watching it thinking... What the fuck? I'm white. I'm being attacked too. I don't get it. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they, they, they edited it to make it look like I was saying something a lot worse. I, what I was saying was, oh my God, look, I'm shadow banned too. And I'm white. It hurt my feelings that all of these black creators were just considering that they are the ones getting attacked when I was currently under fucking attack. I had a stalker that sent an inspector to me. Yeah, they're probably letting it go on the For You page right now. TikTok is letting that shit go on the For You page. She's letting that shit... That girl is getting clout. See, that's why I'm not going to beg to go back to TikTok. Shit like that is exactly why you won't catch me begging to get my account reinstated. You will not catch me begging to get my fucking account re reinstated because of shit like that. <clears throat> well, I don't care who posted it. I mean, they're probably going to have 40 people posting it. I, don't, I mean, everybody's going to want to try to get clout off of me. You know? I'm not even going to stress about it, honestly. I'll do a video on YouTube explaining it, but... Yeah, I was triggered and I absolutely said it. Because I saw back-to-back -back five black creators making content, crying because black creators are being attacked. And it wasn't accurate. It wasn't, it wasn't accurate. I was right beside him during the fight and I was right beside him in in the being attacked but nobody gave a shit that I as a white creator was being attacked because I just had a growth spurt. Everybody was already mad at me for my big growth spurt. They didn't care that I was being attacked. They were just saying that black creators were being attacked. And they're still on TikTok crying because black creators are being attacked and I'm the one sitting here holding my dick on YouTube. Uh, stay what? I'm not staying on TikTok, no. TikTok doesn't want me, so I'll leave. Yesterday, they shut it down yesterday. Yeah, you can go search. Actually, here's the thing. They shut, they banned me off of lives for six months. I cannot go live again for six months. 
I feel I'm coming after my main account too before they could shut my main account down so I would lose all of my content. Anyway, um, before I could get shut down and lose all of my content, um, I deleted my account. I deleted my account. You cannot find me on TikTok right now. I didn't deserve any shutdown at all. Hey, you know, they might as well shut down my account. Seriously. I can't be myself. I, I, I have no interest in being on TikTok if I can't be myself. So, honestly, they just did me a fucking favor, just like Facebook did. If I cannot be authentic to my true self, then I do not want to be on TikTok. I am not begging them. I'm not... Or, a lot of people were saying you should go create another account. No, I'm not going to create another account. I'm done. <sighs> Melissa Kerr, you're a fucking weirdo. Okay, if I wanted to do what you've asked me to do more than once, I like I heard you ask for that the first time, Melissa. The first time you asked it. The first time you asked me to do it, I ignored you. Because I thought something's wrong with this bitch. So now the fact that you've said it again just cements the fact that something's wrong with this bitch. So you're going to get ignored from now on. Don't keep asking it. I saw you ask it the first time. I saw you ask it the second time. You're something's really fucking wrong with you. Stop asking me to show you my feet. Move along, little dog. Move along. Thank you so much, Misty Wells. I love you guys, too. I, You know, they want me to show them my feet. They've got some kind of weird fucking foot attachment. They think they are going to come into people's lives and say, feet souls, they're looking for attention. They're just looking for... Something's fucked up with this bitch is basically the truth. There's some weird-ass people in this world. I'll show you what I'll give you on the can't. No, I won't do that on the camera. No, I won't. See what I'm saying? <laughs> Some kind of weird, fucked up shit going on. They're probably recording the screen. They probably have customers. They ha probably have clients that love to look at feet. So they go into everybody's live and ask you to show them their feet. So they can, they're screen recording it. So they can do a compilation of feet and show to their fucked up clients who like to look at feet. They can show a compilation of feet. And, you know, no, go get your feet from someone else. I don't want to be in your feet movie. <laughs> I don't want to be in your feet movie. Go get someone else to be in your feet movie. <laughs> you know. That's what my take is on it is, is that they're... Ascent, that's where my brain went as soon as I saw it okay now and now they're really tripping right <laughs> feet fetish I know that's why I'm not going to show them my feet because they let them go get somebody else to make them money off of feet I'm not going to let them make money off of my feet they got to come with money in hand first you want me to put my feet on the, sh on the camera so you can make a compilation for your sick, twisted fool? Well, here's the thing. You're going to have to come to me with money in your fucking hand. Or go pound rocks. Right? Isn't that crazy, Simon? <laughs> right? And now they're really tripping, right? <laughs> You notice they haven't said it again. Must be something. Must be something about it. I think that's absolutely what they're doing. They're, you know, this is a fucked up world. You know, the more I realize how fucked up it got over the last twenty years, while I had my head in the sand writing code, 
take I should take one for the team. <laughs> You got yours first last time, and I worked. I don't know what you mean. Oh, great. Oh, that's awesome news, reality. Oh, that's great. Congratulations. I'm glad you got Oh, that's awesome. Yay. So it looks like people are going to start really getting, we're going to start seeing those $600. That's great because Gonzo's, I was starting to sweat Gonzo's surgery and my own medical procedure that requires a. Yep, yep, yep. Good morning, All Faith. That's awesome. That is amazing. I'm glad everybody's getting theirs. I need to refocus. <laughs> I lost what we were talking about. I cannot believe that he came in here, that other content creator actually had the fucking nerve to join my live today. I can't believe he had the nerve to join my live today. And admit that he got me shut down. How crazy is that? Said I deserved it. That I deserve to be shut down. As if being shut down isn't insult enough. He felt like he needed to come in here and rub it in my fucking face. Well, comments, I don't know. I got shut down. I mean, I lost connection and then it came back again. I did lose connection and then it came back. <sighs> I did lose connection. Are you guys back? Let me know that you're still there. Because I'm talking and nobody's saying anything. So let me know. Type I heard it when you heard me say just then I heard it. Okay, you guys are all there. Yeah, I'm done with 2020. Okay, Lisa, good. You're here. Okay, so it's just a three-second delay. Yeah, it, my live shut down for a second, um, and it said no connection. I clicked retry, and it came right back again. So I don't know what would have happened to cause it to lose connection. I thought I was getting banned on YouTube. <laughs> I thought I was getting banned on YouTube, too. Here we go. The dogs are snoring, trying to put me to sleep. You hear that dog snoring? Drink some more coffee because it's okay. I really do because I'm starting to get sleepy because of that dog snore. I told you the psychology problem that I have with the dog snore, right? Because when I'm in my deepest sleep, typically we are all snoring in harmony. So what that snore tells me is it's time to go into your deepest sleep so I can harmonize with the snoring. <laughs> Let me see if I can show you good dog snoring. He is out, out like a light. Oh, wow. That's crazy. Comments are always full screen for me. 
Are they still full, full screen for you? Good morning, Christina. <laughs> yeah, vo voting is crucial. We have to remember to vote in every election. Every single election. It's crucial that we vote in every single election. People have been asleep in this country for 50 years when it comes to voting. 40 years, actually. 30. Really, really, really deeply asleep for 30 years. Maybe 40 years when it comes to voting. And it's time that we woke back up because you see what happens. Okay, good, BMW. I'll see you when you get back. It really is. It's crucial. And we've all gotten huge amounts of civic lessons. We have all gotten civic lessons. Lots of civics lessons. Political science. We have gotten lots of that. We need more of it, honestly. Okay, let's find something to talk about before I fall asleep. Okay, you fall asleep. Hello, Christina. Thank you for joining. Oh my goodness, I want to go to sleep so bad right fucking now. I got to sit up. I'm too comfortable. I don't want to go to sleep right now. Oh, I woke Gonzo up. He'll stop snoring. <laughs> um, I did not check it recently, but I checked it like last night. Typically when I get a good, 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 Simon, I'm glad it's fixed. Um, typically when I get a pending deposit, it will text me. I have it set up. I have it set up so that pending deposits text me. Yours is not pending. Mine is not pending either. Hello, Tamiko Brown. Nice to see you. Grand Rising. Grand Rising, Haglets. I need to wake the fuck up. Whew. He stopped snoring. It's, it's too late, though. He's already got me wanting to go comatose. I don't want to go sleep right now. I really don't. <sighs> I'm waking up. There you go. I wish I could play music. Why can't we play music? Why can't we turn like a fucking radio on in here? You know, I mean, I don't know. We are already in World War Three. I do not think there will be civil war, but I do think that we are in World War III right now. The absolutely, I think that this biological warfare is World War III. I should make more coffee. I'll make a, I'll make a, I'll make a cup of tea. Music is not allowed in the background on YouTube. I'll get banned. I'll get shut down for copyright infringement and banned. Because this is recorded. <clears throat> and so it's like we're, you know, yeah. I need to get a band sponsor. I need to get like the Beatles or some shit to sponsor me so I can play their music on loop behind me. On America's soil. Well, somebody said they were going to send me a karaoke machine. Your stimulus just posted? Good for you, reality. Good morning, VW. Good morning, Grand Rising. 
I think that this is a war on America's soil. This virus is man-made. And it is a war on America's soil. I don't think that we're going to have civil war. Because our military will protect us. Oh, I should go outside and get some fresh air. That's a great idea. Oh, my goodness. Maybe I, if I open the window, it'll fill up with mosquitoes. I wish I could take you guys outside with me, but it'll be too dark out there. I could use a flashlight under my face. <laughs> I really could. That would be kind of funny. <laughs> under my face, yeah. Okay, Lisa, go to bed. Happy New Year's, Lisa. It was good to see you. Thank you for stopping by. I appreciate you. Well, you I'm sure you do as well, Christina Dalcor. Thank you. I am really tired. That's all I am. I don't want to, I got 10 hours of sleep last night, so I went to bed at like 5 p.m. 5 p.m. I went to sleep. And I slept happily until 4. 3 a.m. so 4 a.m. this morning so I'll go outside and get some fresh air because I do not want to sign off right now if I sign off and go to sleep a lot of people that would come over to look for me won't be able to find me let me get my flashlight here it is Can y'all see? <laughs> God, that looks horrible. There we go. I like that lighting. <laughs> still see me right we can say this side there we go Ooh. I'll tell you a scary story only my scary stories are truth not fiction this is like I could really do this my scary stories are about World War III and a virus created in a lab and spread across the land while Vladimir Putin laughed Whoa, ho, 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 ho. all the way from Russia. <laughs> Whew, I'm going to walk around. Oh, you guys can see me pretty good when I've got the flashlight. Here, I'll move it up here. Isn't it? No, music's not allowed on YouTube. It's cold and snowing in West Texas, really. Well, I am enjoying. You guys can see the moon behind me. Look at that. Wow, look at that moon over my shoulder. Let me turn the light off. Happy New Year. Look at the moon. Let me see if I can get it to focus on the moon. Yes. Wow, a car just went by over there. I am on a dead end street and a fucking car just went by over there.
No, I can't go back on TikTok. I am shut down on TikTok. It's beautiful. I can't believe I just saw a car go by over there. I think there are homeless or car dwelling people that go to the end of that street to sleep but leave at like three o'clock in the morning. My dogs did not come outside with me. I left the door open and they did not come outside with me. Which is really bizarre. Gonzo could have come out with me. He didn't. He elected to sit his ass well, there's about a half a cup of coffee left I could drink. He elected to sit his ass in the house. My videos are not there. If you go search for my account, you can't find my account. But I hear that TikTok is letting a video trend about me that makes me look bad. TikTok is letting a video that makes me look bad trend right now. Um, I'm fine. I am fine. They're letting a video trend that makes me look bad right now. Isn't that some, some bullshit? Isn't that some fucking bullshit? I uh, fuck them. I'm done with TikTok. I am seriously done with TikTok. I don't beg. I agree to Miko, but you know, fuck TikTok. They are letting a video trend that makes me look really bad. trying to damage me with the black community. Oh, the only way you saw that video is because you were searching for me. Okay, I thought they were letting it trend. I know I reported it and they wouldn't take it down. Wow, Gilda, you are really, you are really lagged. Good morning, Alex. So good to see you, sweetheart. I have been live for two hours and eight minutes. This is going to be another marathon. I slept a good eight hours. Ten, Actually, I slept ten hours. You could be right. It's because Oracle owns the database and but it's also because TikTok wants to make money right now and they don't want anybody to make make bad. Christina, don't delete your... Nobody is talking about your videos, Christina. Nobody is talking... Oh, oh, you're not talking. You'll delete TikTok now. I thought you were going to delete your videos about me. You'll delete TikTok now. I am so sorry that you guys... Yeah. I am sorry. TikTok really was cool. I blew it. Ish. I didn't blow it. Fuck it. I want to be authentic. I want to be myself. So. Wow. Cindy Askins, where are you? Because I have been back inside now for a good five minutes. I'm taking a stance. That's it. I am taking a stance. 
Fuck them. I won't come back. Others who are looking for my live will sit, end up seeing that same video. So, you know, I would appreciate it. I mean, you know, I would report it if I were you. I would report it. If it gets enough reports, it will get shut down. That video was only up for about 10 minutes. That video that she screen recorded was only up for 10 minutes. And she got it recorded. Miraculously, she got it recorded. I made it and then I took it down. So that's how closely people were watching everything that I did, waiting for me to make a mistake so they could get catch me on it. Wow, reality is really lagged too. Thank you, Christina. Thank you. It is crazy. It really is. It's the way it goes, though. This is show business, not friend business, right? I'm good, Chris. How are you? I'm much better tonight than I was. Thank you. I'm much better tonight than I was yesterday. Oh, thank you, reality. <sighs> anyway, that's why they want me shut up. That's okay. Thank you, reality. Anyway. Well, thank you, Cindy. I'm really glad. I would hope that my using my voice would help people would help, help other people be confident to use their voices. No money, no honey, that's right. No money, no honey, that's right. No money, no honey. Yeah, my previous post sucked. I must be really lagged right now. I should shut this live down and start another one. It seems like this one got fucked up when I lost connection. So I'm going to shut this live down and start another live. I'm going to give it a couple of minutes to reach the majority of people. I'm not lagging for you, but I'm lagging for a lot of other people. A lot of other people. It seems because they're so far behind in their responses to comments that I made quite a while ago. Yeah, it seems that way. You seem to be right here. But see, they're asking things way in the past. Like Chris. Chris is way, way lagged. Yeah, I'm going to... You did go out and come back in, right? Chris is way lagged. Cindy Askin is way lagged. And reality is also way lagged. Right. So I'm going to shut down and come right back. And hopefully people are able to make their way back. Um, oh, you're here and you can hear me in time? Okay. You had to shut down and come back? Okay. Okay. I think the people who haven't shut down and come back are way lagged. 
So maybe I'll stay on and just tell them that they need to shut down and come back. Um, hi, Holly. Nice to see you, Holly. Good to see you. I'm glad you found me. I am glad you found me. Good morning. You're multitasking. Okay, Chris. Yeah. Well, okay, I'll just keep talking. It just seemed like people were responding to things that I said, you know, like several minutes ago. So that seemed... to That threw me off. You were sad, then angry, then sad for me, and then you went to bed. I was really sad. I haven't reached the anger stage. I just hit the sad stage. I hit the sad stage, the really sad stage. Um, and so I took sleep help and went to sleep. If I had remained live for New Year's Eve last night, it would have been... I would have just been sad all night long and crying. So I chose to shut this shit show down for a few hours. You know, see how lagged she is? You see how lagged reality is? Reality is... Reality, when you hear me say, reality, say, you heard me say, say, you heard me say. Okay. Okay, good. Okay, good. Well, if you are lagged, then, um... You might need to leave and come back because TikTok, I mean, because YouTube glitched for a minute on a lot of people. Yeah. I'm sorry I worried you. Because it's six months and I do, I do not give a fuck that much. You know, I do not give a fuck that much to put that much energy. I'm done. I'm done because you know what? It's only going to the next time somebody, you know, people are nonstop attacking me. It will be a nonstop battle. And that takes all the fucking fun out of you, out of TikTok. TikTok already has me shadow banned. So if I'm not able to go live for six months in any time, I have appealed to live. I, you know, they don't want me to be me. I'm not going to appeal it. Fuck it. I'm done with the yucky feeling I get when I log into TikTok. And that's all TikTok is to me without being able to go live. Is a yucky feeling. Content creators, activists, like myself, put TikTok on the fucking map. We put TikTok on the map. And now TikTok is kicking us for the same shit that we put TikTok on the map with? They don't need us anymore because the blue checks from Hollywood saw the free billions of dollars of advertising that TikTok got. TikTok probably got a billion dollars worth of free advertising because of us, because of our activism. They got a billion dollars of free advertising because we made a fool of Donald Trump. Because we made a fool of Donald Trump. They got a billion dollars free advertising. And now Hollywood has arrived because Hollywood right now during this pandemic is real fucking thirsty. And TikTok doesn't need us anymore. So TikTok kicked us to the curb or will eventually, if we don't fall in line and modify our content to ve meet their standards, which is network television standards, or worse then we won't be allowed on TikTok, despite the fact that TikTok is on the map because of activists like me. Now they got the blue checks. They don't need activists like me. Yeah, Cindy, you really need to. <laughs> 
Cindy, you really need to go out and come back in. That's a great idea because you're at least 10 minutes lagged. But yeah, activists and your support of activists is what put TikTok on the map. Billion dollars worth of free advertising they got because of activists. And now they have kicked activists to the curb because they only want us watching network television. Well, you know, here's the thing. What we're going through right now with our um, collective censorship by the masses is what the rest of the world also goes through. Their government censors us like they're censoring, censors them like they're censoring us. We are not allowed to think outside the box. We are not allowed to speculate on things that could possibly be true. We are not allowed to, th we have to listen to what the network tells us we cannot have our own thoughts yay cindy welcome back yes we are live eve taylor i am live yep we're live nice to see you eve taylor i'm gonna try to stay live until about at least 8 30 or 9 o'clock in the morning um so that i can be here for anybody that goes looking for me on tiktok and is unable to find me That's what my plan is anyway. So that's the state of the world. That's the way that the world goes round. You're up one day and the next you're down. Oh, yay, Holly. It's good to see you. I'm glad you checked. I love you guys too. Oh my gosh. I'm so appreciate your support. You just don't know. You cannot play music while on YouTube while live. Nope, you certainly cannot. That's the thing about TikTok is because it's not recorded, you can play music. I guess that's why. Yeah. I went to bed early too. I slept through the new year. I should make some tea. I agree. I should make some tea. I want to. I want a spot of tea. Spot of tea is is not as bad as a spot of coffee. I can sing, and I think if I get a karaoke machine, I can sing. I don't know. I can only sing a cappella. I can do a cover if it's just music. I think I'm not sure how the covers work. Yeah, what we're seeing right now is that's not true. Well, it's never been true, Chris. It has never been true. I can only do non-copyrighted, and I don't know what music I would sing that's not copyrighted. I don't have any authentic tunes. Um, I know... One person did a um, video letting people know that I'd been banned and it got violated. All she said is that I was banned and that people could find me on, um, people could find me on uh, Instagram or YouTube or Facebook and um, it got violated to talk, took it down. TikTok took it down. Yeah. TikTok took it down. That's all it said is that I'm banned for six months and that you can find me on Instagram or YouTube or um, Facebook and TikTok took it down. Hi, Tony Short. Nice to see you. Yeah, Diva Cat. Yeah, Diva Cat's the one who posted the video and it got taken down. She... Unless it's back up, she appealed. I'm sure she appealed it, but it got taken down for harassment and bullying. 
And I think that what happens is, you know, it might get reinstated, but once it gets taken down for a violation, it gets taken off the playlist. And it doesn't get put back on the playlist. So effectively, when they take it down for a violation, they have shadow banned the video. It will get restored, but it will not be... What music that I would know is non-copyrighted? It would seem that every single music song, I mean, I guess I could sing This Land Is Your Land, This Land Is My Land. Actually, you can't even sing that. That belongs to somebody else as well. That's Arlo Woody Guthrie wrote This Land Is Your Land. I don't even think you can sing that, so. I'm going to put some water on for a cup of tea you could all sing it and tape it and play it in my lives. That's true. Covers, covers of covers. <laughs> I could pull up YouTube content. Okay, so which channel? I could pull it up on my laptop. We don't have to have music. I need to wake the hell up, though. Have a holly jolly Christmas. I even think that is copyrighted, isn't it? In case you didn't know. Oh, by golly, have a holly jolly Christmas. If I had the music, the words for songs. You want to walk down the street naked in 2021, Polly? Well, you go right ahead. You go right ahead. Remember streaking? I actually streaked when I was a little kid. When I was 16, I streaked. But nobody saw it but my girlfriend. We both ran. Actually, we didn't really streak. We took our shirts off and ran down the street in the middle of the night. And then put our shirts back on. <laughs> I don't know if karaoke is copyrighted. I don't. I think it is. I think I could get the music and the words if i could get the music and just the words on the screen then i could but then you know i can't they won't let you do that then it won't let you right yeah 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 i think i think girls did that a lot just for the dare you know just for the dare we took our shirts off and ran down the street giggling <laughs> then we put our shirts back on and giggled more <laughs> yeah. why the fuck did we do that shit I don't know but we did it <laughs> I'm going to put water on for some tea that's what I'm going to do <laughs> oh my goodness you're adding a little bake to the wake you got one little pinch left I'm so sorry. Enjoy it. On the Big Avenue in Miami, my brother went AWOL from the Navy and threw a football naked, got in the median of the highway naked and played football, shooting a football back and forth to one of his Navy buddies while they were naked. And, and, and then they, they got naked off the highway so they streaked onto the highway and then threw a football back and forth naked uh, in the median of the highway. And then they streaked back off the highway and got dressed and took off into the woods. <laughs> Was that flashing and not streaking? Yeah, they streaked onto the highway and then they just did this little thunder, thunder snowstorm. <sighs> Holy cow, thunder snow is a hilar is is so cool. Right? That's what he did. Well, I was friends with him then. When he was that person, oh my god, we were so close when he was that person. 
He's the reason that I have such a careless uh, spirit when it comes to doing shit like that is because I looked up to him. You don't know, you don't, you just don't know. He was my idol and he always, always, always thinks the very worst of me. In every situation where my character or my actions come into doubt, he always thinks the worst of me. So sadly, because of that response that I get from him repeatedly all my life, I no longer look up to him. It's cold and rainy in Tulsa. Well, you might be getting snow soon. Sounds like a cold front is headed your way where that rain will turn to ice and snow. Because I remained um, uh, slightly reckless and carefree because I grew up watching my idol be that way. But my brother married a very conservative female who hated my guts. And let me tell you something. The only person who can come between a sister and her brother, if they're that close, is in fact the one that he falls for. And, and, and he... Yep, that's right, is a woman. And she did. She certainly did. And he became very conservative and had one child. And he did not want that kid hearing all of the stories that I knew about him. I know a lot of very damaging stories about my brother. And I think he became afraid that I would tell her all the damaging stories and be a great influence in her life so he made sure that he killed any relationship that i could have with his daughter and then he killed any relationship i could have with him because he doesn't want her hearing some of the stories that i know about him he was afraid i'd tell her And I probably would have. So, you know, it was his self-preservation -pre mode. They all hate me. Um, the truth is the biggest threat. That's right. You did, So you just didn't have kids. <laughs> you know, well, stories like me being oh gosh how old was i 14 fucking years old when he i was 14 years old and he went awol from the navy mr runs three hospitals now when i was 14 years old mr runs three hospitals now went awol from the navy and came to visit me while i was staying in my sister's house my sister and brother-in-law had gone to michigan for Christmas, they were going to be gone for two weeks. So my brother Troy brought drugs and booze to my sister's house while he was AWOL with the Navy. And I had one of my 14 year old friends come spend the night and he had sex with her in the back bedroom during that two weeks where we stayed stoned the entire time. And then he left and went back to the Navy. Those are the kinds of things that my brother taught me to do when I was young and very influenceable. But now that he runs two hospitals, he doesn't want people to hear about that kind of shit, does he? He might have a kid somewhere because she ended up getting sent back to Pennsylvania. So he may have a kid somewhere with her.
He was old enough to have been in the Navy for two years at that point. Or almost two years. Yeah. Maybe three. Good morning, Brianna. Yeah. Right, Gilda? Yep. Those are the things that you learn from your brother, and when you aren't a cute puppy anymore that he can come visit, then you get... Yeah, anyway. He's a rotten son of a bitch. You know, own your truth. I own every bit of my truth. I never did anything like that to be afraid of, so I guess I'm lucky. Have a nice day, right, Troy Glover? Oh, did I say his name out loud so people can fucking hear it? Holy shit. Oops. <laughs> Brothers having sex with underage females was a common thing when I, in my house, even if they were fucking cousins, that did not stop the brother from having the sex with the underage female. It didn't matter if it was a cousin. That shit happened a lot too. Adult males having sex with underage females in family incestual relationships was real fucking common. When I was growing up, I didn't know about you guys. I mean, did you guys have a bunch of cousin fuckers in your house? I had a bunch of cousin fuckers in my house. Um, my sister Agnes, my brother Jimmy, and my brother Troy all at one time or another fucked a cousin. I never fucked a cousin. Yay! <laughs> I never fucked a cousin. Nor would I have fucked a cousin. I think you have to be a special kind of fucking twisted to want to fuck a cousin. What do y'all think about fucking cousins? Gee, isn't it great I can say this shit on my YouTube live and not get sanctioned for it? <laughs> you shouted it instead. Good for you, Holly. Oh, Eve. You did some of your cousins? No, I think you you didn't mean to type that. That's great, Holly Martin. Every little thing that we can use to get back at them, right? Yeah, um, I really didn't like, my cousins kind of freaked me out a little. I had a cousin, Wendy, that I liked playing with, but she was weird, too, because her daddy was a, was a kid do it diddler, you know. We, her dad's name was Lester, and we used to call him Uncle Mo for short. He was the creepzoid in the family. He was the one, I think, who introduced all of the incest into into my family was my cousin was my uncle lester right by an older cousin well my uncle lester i know that my great grandmother's side of the family was full of incest my great grandfather left her because she was sleeping with her brothers and she wouldn't stop it 
Yeah, well, we all need to talk more about our weird cousins and uncles. I'm glad, Eve Tyler. Yeah, well, we need to talk more about our weird cousins and uncles because our fear of talking about it is the reason that they get to continue to fucking spread their disgusting behavior. I think my Uncle Lester introduced both of my sisters and maybe my brothers to that kind of behavior. I think that by the time I came along, my dad told my uncle that he'd fucking kill him if he did that to me. Hello, Bryn! Shine a light on them. We need to talk about it as much as we can. Now, I got banned on TikTok, and I felt them coming. I got banned for six months off of being live. I'm not allowed to go live for six months. So I deleted my account, because fuck them. Nice to see you, Gossip. Um, good morning. I have missed you going, being live. Yes, thank you. Hello, Tammy. I'll be live every morning on TikTok. I mean, on YouTube. I deleted my account before they could delete it. It's better than me ending up losing all of my content. Um, so I deleted my account. Um, you know who's been in here this morning? On my live already? Talking shit? Loud Lib. Loud Lib got up at 4 a.m. to come in here and tell me that I got what I deserved. Isn't that special? He got up at 4 a.m. to join this live and tell me that that's what I deserved. The Loud Lib. Since he decided to join my TikTok and harass me, he gave me permission to say his name in my live. Hi, Jennifer. Nice to see you. Yep, isn't he a piece of shit? It's not bad enough. It's not bad enough that he got me shut down. But he comes into my live on YouTube and brags about it. I was embarrassed about being molested until I was old enough to understand. Exactly. We have to talk about it. At loud lib. What do you mean at loud lib? We were raised when talking about it was taboo. And we need to talk about it as adults. We need to be open and honest about it. And because I'm doing that, my family really turned on me. I do not give a fuck. The loud lib. Loud lib. It's either loud lib or the loud lib. On TikTok. He came in here saying... He came in here as the as Loud Lib 2 saying all that shit this morning. <sighs> no, I won't be missed. <laughs> I won't I'll be missed for about fu 10 fucking minutes. That's how long people miss you when you when you shut down on a social media account. Well, thank you, friend. I will be live here every morning saying just whatever the fuck I want to say. They can't stop me from saying whatever the fuck I want to say when I'm live on YouTube. So, yay. I can talk about cousin fuckers <laughs> on YouTube. I think I can anyway. Thank you, Reality. And I can't say F to TikTok enough. That's right. I, I mean, that's the way. I mean, that's right. All, well, here's the thing. Here's what TikTok did. Activists such as myself, activist con con content creators, put TikTok on the map. We got TikTok billions of dollars, or at least a billion dollars worth of free advertising when we shut down 
Donald Trump's rally. And now TikTok's on the map and they don't need us anymore. They needed us to get on the map, but they don't need us. Oh, I know. They don't need us to stay on the map because now they have the attention of Hollywood. All of Hollywood is now joined because TikTok got billion dollars of free advertising from Donald Trump. So they can shut us down and we can end up watching network television on TikTok like we watch network television on all the other platforms. The Hollywood blue checks are back. They don't need us anymore. They've got Hollywood big bucks. That's exactly what has happened. TikTok allowed us to be rogue as long as they needed us to get on the map. Yeah. And so once we got all that free advertising from Donald Trump, everybody joined. Everybody joined. There's only room on the For You page for so many people. And as long as, yes, he's snoring. But because I had my last cup of coffee, I'm not. I don't have any hate for Rosie. At least when she joined, she started giving love to small creators. You know, Rosie showed, she nodded her head to small creators. And I appreciated that. No other big content creator is nodding their heads to small creators. Oh, yeah. She didn't nod her head to me, but she nodded her head to everybody else. And I'm happy for that. Well, you know, the things that we fell in love with TikTok for are not the things that we're going to keep seeing on TikTok. We're not going to keep seeing the advertisers don't want to advertise with us when they have the blue checks. You know, they've got to keep us in line. We can only create certain kind of content so that they can, you know. Right? That's right. They shut down my live for criticizing TikTok. That's why they banned my lives, because I criticized TikTok in my lives. Mm -hmm. And because they were getting reported so much. But I reported a creator for driving 80 miles an hour down the highway while he was screaming at a Mack truck for being a Republican on a loudspeaker. And that, was, that content was fine. Because he makes them a lot of money. Oh, right. <laughs> you were supposed to say, TikTok, you don't stop. <laughs> TikTok, you don't stop. <laughs> and for, uh, for Rosie to follow you back, right? I didn't say that. When I had more followers than her, I did a video saying, oh, look, I have more funny followers than Rosie O'Donnell. I mean, I knew she was going to shoot up fast, but for a minute, I had more followers than her. So that's the first video I made about Rosie. And yeah, I was already shadow banned. I'm glad to start my new year without TikTok, too. Too many advertisements, too many celebs, too many business as fucking usual. The status fucking quo, and I'm not going to give them any, 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 anything. I am not going to give them any, anything. I won't beg. I won't create another account. They don't want me, so I will not go on there. If I can't be my authentic self, I don't want any part of it. Can I talk about how my family is all cousin fuckers on YouTube without getting shut down. Do y'all know? Is that going too far? Because I'll delete this live if it is.
it needs real people or it doesn't work. Real people was the attraction. Seeing the creativity of everyday Joes was the attraction. But see, Hollywood is really thirsty right now. I did. I knew it was going to happen, Cindy. I did. I knew it was coming. Thank you, Eve Tyler. Yeah, Loud Lib is probably going to report it. But, I mean, if it's allowed on YouTube, I'll leave it. I want it. I want it there. I want my family that are cousin fuckers to see it. I let people know when I'm coming for them. You, anyone that I come for should know I'm coming because I don't hide it. I don't play quiet games. So I would really like for the cousin fuckers in my family to be afraid. <laughs> right, reality? We all joined TikTok because of the pandemic. Thank you, Christina. Not celebrity bullshit. We went on TikTok because it was real people. It wasn't the status quo. Now it's the status quo. We wanted to see real people and seeing real people do well with support cousin fuckers yeah cousin fuckers is a thing it's a thing I'm so glad I never fucked a cousin because now that my family has turned assholes against me I can call them all cousin fuckers and get away with it being honest they can't call me cousin fuckers because I never fucked a cousin they do not even come close to fucking a cousin not even once it's disgusting it's disgusting to fuck your cousin. I'm just saying it's fucking disgusting. Don't fuck your cousins. If nothing else gets out of my message, if no other message gets out, I'd like for it to be don't fuck your cousins. <laughs> Cousin fucking is bad. Yeah, it helped me a lot with my depression, too, but it's not helping now. Call your cousin today and tell him Happy New Year, cousin fucker. <laughs> my cousin Wendy with the big tits. You know, that's what kind of that would be a great TikTok name. Wendy with the big tits. <laughs> you know, we got Mark with the good beard. Now we need Wendy with the big tits. Anyway, my cousin Wendy with the big tits. She's a cousin fucker. <laughs> that would be a great name, Wendy with the big tits. <laughs> you haven't talked in over 20 years. Well, then more the better, right? Call him Happy New Year, cousin fucker. <laughs> shocked that i think it would be great cindy i think you should record it if you could get away with recording it i think you should record it wendy with the big tits follows my channel y'all <laughs> just so you know in fact i think all of the cousin fuckers on my list of cousin fuckers follow my my youtube channel all of my cousin fucker family that fucks their cousins follow my youtube channel so Cousin fuckers! <laughs> Don't be a cousin fucker. Yay, Cindy. I have given you confidence. Well, I agree that you should... You will get a lot of... It will be very cathartic for you to call your cousin and say that to him. Happy New Year, cousin fucker. <laughs> Oh my god, I think it's hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> Wendy with the 
Will Wendy like her new name? No. Well, she'll like, yeah, she'll like Wendy with the big tits because, trust me, her tits enter every room before her. And she could, she could give the most elegant speech you have ever heard, but the only thing that would be heard is her big tits. And she kind of likes that. When I when I stopped it when I first moved into the house into the bus the first house that I stopped at for refuge was my cousin Wendy with the big tits, she lives in Georgia. She was so thrilled when Georgia went red. You just don't know. But anyway, my cousin Wendy with the big tits, I stopped at her house, and um, it's really funny because every story that she told me was about her tits. And walking into a place and having every man stare at her tits. And my tits this and my tits that and my tits this. And finally, I am not kidding. This is not a lie. I turned around and I said to her, I get it. You got big tits. Does every story you tell have to be about your fucking tits? Really, Wendy? Really? And I turned around and walked away. <laughs> you know, every story was about her tits. We went out to dinner, her boyfriend and she and I, with the three of us, when I first got there, they took me out for a really lovely Mexican dinner. I have to tell you, it's one of the best Mexican meals I have, I have had. It was a memorable, there was memorable food. But we were sitting in a restaurant that had beams exposed instead of, you know, dividers, there were beams exposed all around, you know, so because it was a high ceiling restaurant. And uh, her boyfriend, her boyfriend, her boyfriend said, you know, Wendy could get up there on that pole and uh, really impress you. And Wendy looked at him like, because oh. yeah. until he said that, I had no idea that Wendy... Wendy had been on a pole and Wendy didn't want me to know that she'd been on a pole but that is her claim to fame her tits and her pole <laughs> and the fact that she would totally do Donald Trump and every other word out of her mouth was the n-word it is priceless that's 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 the biggest compliment he could give his his common law wife is that uh, she could really work a pole. It's not her fault. She grew up with Uncle Mo. Uncle Mo, you know, his name is Lester, but we call him Mo for short, you know, like Mo Lester. Uncle Mo was her daddy. She didn't really have a chance. And her mother, I remember we were 14 years old and I visited, my dad took me to Corpus Christi to visit an uncle. And the other uncle, Uncle Mo, was there with his family because he took they leave off of the Marines. He was a lifer in the Marines. He used to be a d drill instructor. All of his life he was a drill instructor for the Marines. And because he was a lifer for the Marines, he, um, what was I going to say? Oh, I've completely forgot. Shit. What was I saying? <laughs> I lost it. I completely lost what I was saying. Yeah, uncle. Oh, oh, oh. We went to Corpus Christi to visit an uncle. So I had two uncles and their wives and my dad. So uh, there were five adults there. My dad, two of his brothers, and their wives. Uncle Mo's wife, this is to tell you what Wendy's mother is like and why Wendy is the way she is. Uncle Mo's wife stood us up in the backyard like this, told us to turn sideways. And Uncle Billy, who was my dad's other brother, his wife, was sitting there beside her on the porch. And they stood us up sideways, told us to turn our profiles to them. And Uncle Mo's wife said, oh, look, Wendy's got much bigger breasts than Teresa. That's my name. Yeah. 
that's at 14 that's what they were teaching her that her tits were her identity so it's really not Wendy's fault Wendy was taught that her value was in fact her big tits from a young age that is Uncle Mo, Aunt Joyce. That is what her value was, were her tits. And that's what they trained her from a young age. So when I went to visit her 40 years later at her house, she was still telling stories that valued her tits 40 years later sexualized from a very young age that's right she was sexualized from a very young age and as a grown-ass adult her most prized stories to tell me were about men noticing her tits I mean she turned real hateful she was a racist that part is her choice but her sexualization of herself and thinking that that's her own worth, her only worth is her sexualization of herself. That's not her choice. That's how she was raised. Her hate-filled racist heart and her ignorance in supporting Donald Trump because of his hate-filled racist heart is not excusable. Oh, I haven't spoken to her since I left her house. I left her house because she's a ridiculous bitch. Um, I only stayed there for a short time. I just couldn't stand it. But I... Yeah, that's abuse. And she was raised with that kind of abuse. And she passed that kind of abuse on to her daughter her daughters, one of her daughters anyway, not the other one. I really think that she poisoned her. I really think that she poisoned her her um, oldest daughter with antifreeze. I think she poisoned her oldest daughter with antifreeze and I think she tried to poison me with antifreeze in my iced tea. While I was there for that two weeks. She told her common-law husband's family that I was coming to her house because I was terminally ill. I made a special video for her when Trump lost. That's right. That's right. Cousin Wendy with the big tits. Yeah. I think that she not only killed her daughter with that because she was um, disabled. Her daughter was disabled and really sick and needed dialysis regularly and then she blamed the dialysis company and tried to sue them I think that's exactly what she did she blamed the dialysis company and was started a lawsuit in the name of her daughter after she died and I got the feeling that she poisoned her daughter when I was there and heard her talking about it and all the things that she said about it and the fact that I started getting sick while I was there and that I got sick after I left and when she was hugging me goodbye she said when you get sick I'll come take care of you call me and I'll come for you and I did get sick after I left her house I really did the last fucking thing in the world I'd do is call her ass for help. I was indep I'm independent, okay? But she told her family, because they asked me at the table. One of them asked me at the table, how long do you have left? I said, what do you mean? And he looked at Wendy and looked back at me and said, well, you're terminal, right? How long, do you, how long did they tell you you have? I said, I'm not terminal. I'm not terminal. What are you talking about? You told them I'm terminal? I'm not terminal. She told them that I was dying when I came. 
she told them that I was dying when I got to her house. I was really sick, but I was not terminal. She told them that I was dying. I never once told her I was dying. Never once did I tell her I was dying. She was going to kill me with antifreeze. She was. She was going to kill me with antifreeze. I believe that with all my heart. I believe that with all my heart. That's right, Alex. I think that she might have been scheming for, I don't know. I really don't know. You know, but I think she did it to her daughter. I think she had it planned out already. I think she thought I must have had money. I think she thought I had money. A lot of my family thought, because I worked in, I mean, I was making really big money when I quit work. And a lot of my family thought, because I was rolling into dough, I had a big no, she did not have an insurance policy, but I did say to her when I got there, I showed her, I have a, I have a hidey hole on my bus. I have a hidey hole on my bus. And when I got there, I told her, this is where the money is. If something happens to me, this is where the money is. I didn't have a lot of money in there, okay? I didn't have a lot of money in there, but I had money in there. Everybody, my cousin James that invited me to come to his house also thought I was rolling in the dough. He quit his job when I fucking got there. And he said, well, what happened to all that money? I said, I didn't have any money. Are you kidding me? My daughter bled me of all of my money before she left. I didn't have any fucking money. It took all of my money to get the bus converted and get down there. Okay? I didn't have any money. I never claimed to have any money, but they all thought I was rich. So, um, I don't know. I don't know. But, anyway. Why did I start talking about that? Money is the root of all evil. I started talking about Wendy with the big tits. Wendy with the big tits. Money is the root of all evil. She bragged to me that she'd gotten this old man. She was a um, UPS driver. And so she delivered UPS all over her county. And she bragged to me that she had a customer that was a regular UPS package recipient on her route. And that he left his house to her and his property to her. She got him to leave his house and his property to her when he died. And she was currently in some kind of a court fight because his family was trying to get it back. That's the kind of person that my cousin Wendy is. You know, people are crazy and they always have their own ideas about things and you and how, you know, I don't know. Wendy with the big tits. Hi, Daily Ground. Um, because they shut me down. They shut my lives down for six months. So I deleted my account. I'm not going to wait until they delete it. I'll delete it. I'm not going to give them the satisfaction. I felt it coming. They banned my lives yesterday morning for six months. And the loud lib came in here earlier saying that's what I deserved. I deserved it. So I'm gone. I am no longer a TikTok content creator. I need to be able to be myself, and if I can't be myself on TikTok, then there's no point in me being on TikTok. Fame for being like every other fucking blue check on the planet is not my kind of fame. 
I want to be able to be myself. Or I don't want to be. I don't want to be there if I can't be myself. If I can't be myself, I don't want to be on TikTok. Fuck that. I know this is a great time for me to write the book. I think if I were to focus on it, I could write 1977 in, in, um, I could have 1977 published or out and potentially published long before 2021 is over. So maybe TikTok shutting me down is a godsend. I can just schedule lives for every morning on YouTube. And go live and have coffee with you guys and have fun every morning on YouTube or well my account is is monetized and so um, if I set up a regular following of coffee with the hag on YouTube I think that I think that that will do relatively well um, and I feel like right now I am in a good frame of mind I wasn't yesterday Yesterday was in a horrible frame of mind, so I took a sleep aid and slept for 10 hours. Like, dead to the world sleep. It would be excellent therapy for me to write it, and, and now that I'm not distracted by um, doing TikTok content, now is the perfect time. So they might have just done me a favor, honestly. We'll see. We, we shall see. I already took my meds. Everybody take their meds. If you're happy and you know it, shake your motherfucking meds. If you're happy and you know it, shake your motherfucking meds. If you're happy and you know it, shake your motherfucking meds. If you're happy and you know it, shake your motherfucking dreads. I mean meds. Or dreads. Doesn't matter. It both works. Yeah, I think 1977 will be a, a really good book. It's funny because the more I talked about 1977 in my lives, I heard so many people that were alive in 77 say that they could relate because 1977 was an eventful year for them as well. Your family will always remind you about your meds. <laughs> my daughter used to remind me about my meds, too, because when I was unmedicated, I would drive her fucking crazy. <clears throat> so that's... Yeah. So how do I turn the dollar sign on? How do I turn the dollar sign symbol on? I don't know how to turn the dollar sign symbol on. Oh, we remind you, Alex. Yay. How do I get my dollar sign turned on? I have monetized. My account is monetized. But why is uh, I don't have a dollar sign? I think my account. I mean, I've had my account monetized for years. I don't know how it works. Share, save, highlight. Mute microphone. Dollar sign should be there. Hashtag symbol then the dollar sign. So hashtag dollar will turn it on if I do it in the name of the... Do I have to do it in the description or the name? Where do I put the hashtag dollar sign? In the description or the name?
So if I make it part of the name, dollar sign will be there. So should I end this live and start a new one and put the dollar sign there? Or I'll just do it on tomorrow morning's live. I should end this and put the new one. All right. I will end this and start a new one. Right? Is everybody cool with that? All right. All right. Let me end this and start a new one.